If Monaco had any hopes of retaining the league title, they knew that they could not afford to drop any points against Rennes at the Stade Louis II before the winter break. Leonardo Yardim was going for a 100% record during the month of December after winning all of their matches in the final month of the year. Before they lost to Paris last week, Rennes were on a run of five matches without a loss in all competitions, but hadn't beaten Monaco away since 2008. And it almost was a nightmare start for the visitors, as Keita Balde, who signed from Lazio just this year, fired over from close range. But Ren decided to try from their own. Wabi Kazri pulled his shot just wide. Subasic glad to watch that one go to the right of his post and off target. After an innocuous challenge, the ball broke for Ronnie Lopez. Chances luck from Rage. Great shot, bounced off the post. Lamar missed it. And then Falcao, the man you want in these situations, burying the shot. His 15th goal of the season in just 16 appearances. Calm and composed. Ren complaining that there was a foul in the build-up to that goal. And the referee decided to wave play on. was a sloppy start to the second half by the home side as Ren grew into the game and Yanyon tried to get the equaliser for his team. Subasic this time required to make the save and he made a good save. Ren then had the perfect opportunity to equalise from the penalty as Jibril Sidibe bundled over Lea Sleeky. Wabi Kazri, the man to take the penalty and to convert the penalty, only just though, Subasic getting a hand to it. Kazri incidentally getting his sixth goal of the season. But he was lucky to see that one go through the grip of the Monaco goalkeeper. Monaco, however, who did not lie down. A good move. Initiated on the right flank. It's a good cross. Pull back to Balde and Balde converts. Getting a goal in consecutive matches for the second time this season. His fifth of the campaign. Monaco battle to beat Rennes. Sabri Lamouchi will be aggrieved after what he viewed as a foul in the build-up to the first goal. But the Principality side keep their slim chances of back-to-back -back titles alive.